Hi everyone, it is January the 30th, 2024, and I have messages from this morning and from June 30th, 2023, and I'm going to say a quick prayer and get started. Um, Lord, Father God, I thank you, Lord. Open up our eyes, our ears, and our hearts for your truth, Lord, that we would take everything right back to you for discernment, understanding, and revelation. I pray for my brothers, my sisters, Lord. I pray for their families, their homes. I plead the blood of Jesus, Father God, over them, over their home, their families, their children, their jobs. They're coming and they're going, Lord. Cover them like only you can. I pray for the lost, the slumbered, the confused, Lord. I pray for their hearts that they would seek for your truth, Lord, that they would be seeking, knowing, and wanting truth, and not believing the lies of the enemy and not leaning on their own understanding, Father God, that this is not a time to lean on our own understanding, but to listen for your voice, to, to take everything to your feet, Father God. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Guide and direct our thoughts, our hearts, our minds, our souls, that we would seek you, know you, want you, love you, serve you all the days of our life, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Okay, this morning I woke up at 144 and I was given this message Yesterday, I seen 144 everywhere I could possibly see it. Um, uh, I can't, I can't, I lost track of how many times I seen it. So many times yesterday. Um, probably, t I don't even know if it would be 10 times, if that would be exaggerating, but I don't want to give a specific number. Hold on. <clears throat> My dog let himself in. <laughs> but, um, I, today has been another day where I just keep, every day I see 144, but the last two days I've seen it so much. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm just praying about it because it's just a lot, a lot, a lot. Like every time I, it feels like every time I look at my phone for some reason, the time, the amount, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the miles, I, I'm I'm on my I'm on my um GPS and it'll say um 14 minutes with it continues to four point miles which is so weird I I screenshot it um so many times because it's it's blowing my mind um how many times I've seen it and I woke up and I looked at the clock and it said 144 this morning it's just crazy I don't know why I'm seeing it so much but um. Anyways, I'm praying about that because it's been, it's, I, I, I see it all the time, but the last two days, I cannot tell you how many times it's been a lot. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share that. Um, uh, let me see. January the 30th, 2024. And, um, this message goes with June 30th, 2023. Um, and it's my message to read for today. And um, the Lord is just so amazing the way he does this. It's like one is backing the other one up uh, um, as a confirmation. And you'll, you'll see when I read it. Um, my daughter, speak these words to the lost who do not know my ways, who do not know that they are lost, but believe lies of the enemy. Tell them I love Tell them I love them. Tell them do not fret. I am here. I am the only way, the only truth to everlasting life. My ways are higher and greater things will they do. Believe my words are faithful and true. Come to my feet. I am calling my own and believe I will pull in those souls no matter the consequence. Call on me now before you need me. Want me now before it is too late. Come to my feet wholeheartedly. Time is of the essence. Much to come, <clears throat> excuse me, and many hearts are not prepared. Prepare your hearts for what you will see. Do not delay. I work on the hearts. I guide and direct and protect the hearts, mind and soul, souls. Pray without ceasing. Know that you will see the unimaginable and hearts will fail. Pre Prepare the hearts for what's to come. Understand, I am your only covering and protection. Pray Psalm 91. I am your covering. 
Come to me now before you need me. Three days are upon you. Three days of danger, three days of darkness, three days do not go out of your house, but cover your windows, shut those blinds, pray for the lost, tell them I love them, tell them I do not delay, understand my ways, consecrate yourself and bless your homes, your loved ones, pray without ceasing, I do not delay and many are not prepared for what they will see, many do not know me, many will go to and fro, unprepared of what awaits this world. Pray that hearts do not fail. And um, just wanted to say a quick note on that. The Lord started having me pray that probably about six months ago. I've been praying that hearts will not fail. Prepare your hearts. Do not open the doors to the enemy. Consecrate your homes. Remove the evil. I am not a man that I should lie. Pray and prepare the hearts. I tell you, know I came in the flesh, walked this earth to set the captives free. Pray, let my people go. Be set free. Many, unfortunately, will perish, unprepared for what's to come. Come to my feet properly. I call you. Who will answer? I set the captives free. Be not bound to your secret sins. Call on me. I set the captives free abominations from the pit of hell all around judgment is upon you america the great no more i beg my own my heart aches for my lost pray for my lost that they will be found three days of darkness will be used for my glory and for a grand purpose i will awaken the lost the slumbered and the stragglers will i not protect my own I tell you now, call on me now before you need me. My ways are higher. Come, all ye faithful. Now, my children, hearts will fail. Be not left out in the dark. I love you, my lost and my found. Not one is more than the other. Prepare those hearts. Time is of the essence. Oh, 2024, what a year you will be. I call in my stragglers. Come to me, my child. Unlike never before, I tell you, many are lost and unprepared, even those who say they seek. Be not caught unprepared. I honor the prayers of the righteous. Come, all ye faithful. Ask, seek, and knock. I am there with open arms. My child, my ways are higher. Call on the name of the Lord. Tell them I love them. Your loving Abba, your Adonai, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. How great I am, the great I am. Prepare the hearts, three days of darkness. And that was this morning's message. And June 30th, 2023. <clears throat> Child, sit with me in your quiet place. I am he who is, who was, and is still to come. I am Abba, the Father, to the fatherless. Greater things will you do. Do not fret, child. I will guide and direct your ways. Prepare now. Disaster is upon America. As I say, greater things will you do. Help the helpless. Tell them, child, about your Jesus. I came to set the captives free. My ways are higher. Sooner than later, child. Disaster upon a disaster. All will come down. We are upon the three days of darkness. Soon I will call my own up for training. Much to commence. Tell them, daughter, my ways are higher. No one knows the day or hour, but do they have eyes to see the season they are walking? I love all child, but sadly they do not seek their maker. I breathe life and I remove. Call on me. Much changes in the days ahead. Prepare the hearts. Brace, brace, brace for impact. I call all to my feet. I know the hearts. Submit those hearts to the Father again and again. Be mine, children. Be not dismayed. I take care of my own. My own know my name and they follow me. Fo <clears throat> Excuse me. Follow me, children. I will give you life. Your Abba Father, Yeshua, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I love all my children, lost and found. My love is higher. And that's the message for today. Um, like I said, take everything back to the Lord. Pray for discernment. Pray for understanding. Seek with all of your heart. That means 
get in your word, pray, read, worship, fast. That's seeking properly. Um, and he, he, oh gosh, I think it was about a couple months ago. Um, I had heard, um, two of the, um, YouTubers that I, I listened to, they had talked about, um, doing communion, um, pretty regularly. Um, one of them, he, he does it every day and I'm, I'm not sure how often she does it. She does it a couple of times during the week, but, um, the Lord started having me do communion, um, probably about two months ago, he started telling me. So I started doing it at the, when I do my fasts during the week, at the end of the day, um, each day I would do my communion. Now I started doing communion first thing in the morning and the end of the night. Um, and that is just to consecrate our myself. That's what he told me to do. So that's what I'm doing. Maybe you guys want to pray about that. I would say pray about everything, but get in your word for sure. If you're unsure of how to come, I know we're all in our different places in our walk and some of us know more than the other. So um, this is for who doesn't know how to seek properly. Read your Bible. Read more than just a, a few scriptures. Um, I'm read, and I say start somewhere, um, a couple of chapters if you can, but work yourself up to at least 10 a day and, um, or five it, and w work yourself up. But read your Bible. It's so important. It actually cleanses you and it protects you. That's the sword of the spirit, your Bible. Um, read your Bible, worship. And yesterday, I think it was yesterday's message where he said, I'm going to, I'm going to look it up. Um, he's giving us instructions on how to seek his heart. Um, how to come to him and Okay, here it is. Um, it is a daily walk. I seek relationship. Talk to me. That means pray. Read my word. Get to know me. Worship me in music and in words. That's showing. Show me you love me. Fast. Sacrifice for me. I sacrificed for you. He's literally giving us instructions here. He's telling us what to do and what it's for. Um, so seek him, seek him wholeheartedly. And that's it for now. Um, God bless you. It seems I have such an urgency when I get some of these messages. Um, but we need to be praying for our families. Um, it's so important. Um, I love you. God bless you. And, um, Seek with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul. Bring everything that you, all of our burdens, take it to the Lord and leave it at his feet. And pray for peace, peace that surpasses all understanding because he, he does not give us a spirit of fear. But he's helping us to walk with him, to call on him, to cover us. Um, he's our only help. He's our, he is our everything, literally our everything. And just pray for everybody. Pray for our brothers and sisters, um, our neighbors, your loved ones, your homes. And that's it. God bless you. I love you.